Hi there. Welcome back to Hersco Online, your virtual classroom for tips and tricks on dispensing custom foot orthotics, AFOs, Ritchie braces, custom molded shoes and prosthetics. In this section, we're going to take a look at a orthotics selection guide, which is a sheet that we designed in order to help you choose the appropriate orthotic for the patient based on their prescription, but also on a couple of other key criteria. So our primary analysis was to look at the diagnoses. Uh, so we'll often see uh, diagnoses such as pes planus, rheumatoid arthritis, or complications from diabetes. However, knowing the pathology is only the first step. Two key criteria to consider are the patient's shoe style and the patient's weight. So on this chart, we've broken this up into two different columns where we choose the device from the diagnosis based on whether the shoe has a removable inlay or whether it has a tighter fit. So that would be whether you're dealing with a shoe such as a work boot or a sneaker with a removable inlay or a shoe with a tighter fit such as a dress shoe or a laced Oxford type shoe. Having made that determination with the patient, you then need to consider the patient's weight. As an example, in order to treat heel spur pain, we'll want to give the patient a nice well-fitting custom foot orthotic, usually a functional type design. This device here is made from polypropylene and that would meet the criteria. This is what we call a sports orthotic and some of the key features are an extrinsic rear foot post which will help stabilize the rear foot and also a cushioning top cover to provide some shock absorption for the patient. This is a wonderful device for those patients that present with heel pain or with heel spur syndrome. However, devices such as that, extrinsically posted with cushion top covers, will only fit inside shoes with removable inlays. If the patient has a shoe with a tighter fit, you can achieve almost the same result in control using a device such as this. Again, this has the same thermoplastic functional foot orthotic portion. However, in this case, it's intrinsically posted, so there's no rear foot posting taking up bulk in the back of the shoe. The top cover is thinner. In this case, it's made of vinyl. It can also be made of leather. And the cut is only as far as the sulcus. It's not full length. So this will fit in a wider variety of shoe styles and work well for patients who are not active. Certainly patients who are not runners don't necessarily need a sports type orthotic. On the orthotic selection guide, there's also a section of accommodative devices. These are ones that don't necessarily need to change the function of the foot, but provide cushioning and full total contact for the patient. Again, these devices work best in shoes that have removable inlays. There are many criteria for choosing the correct foot orthotic for a patient. And with any given patient, there's usually a number of options that are available to you. The orthotic that works best is the one that fits inside the shoe. Take a good cast, follow the doctor's prescription, but then consider the shoe that the device is going into and the patient's weight in making your final selection. Referring to the orthotic selection guide allows you to isolate a couple of good choices that you can use on which to base your final orthotic design. You can also call the lab at any time to ask for their help and advice in making the final choices for the orthotic. And a copy of this orthotic selection design guide is available on our website, www.hersco.com. Thank you once again for joining us at Hersco Online.